This is on camera. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about... How not to win re-election if you're a politician. Well, and part of the reason why we're doing this is because, well, maybe the, what, the election is in 2012, yeah. but of course, as many of you know, you're hearing lots of talk about elections at this time. Oh, yeah. Democrats are pissed off because the Republicans are racist because they want to allow the Democrats to start voting right now for the presidency. Yeah, so today, yes, ways not to uh, get reelected. That's right. <laughs> That's a good way right off the bat mm -hmm. is to tell people that you're racist because you won't allow voting to start 18 months before the election. That's a good one. That pisses off everybody, folks. Uh, another another way. But, it, yeah, but that one does. Yeah. Well, because it just angers everyone. You know, like I said, why are this? Why is this group being allowed to? I mean, remember last year, the last election, Obama only won the election, even though nobody liked McCain. He won because the election went on for like two months. Mm -hmm. You know, when you allow people to vote for two months. And the people that are voting are his. If, if that had, if he'd have been only the one week, like is according to the law, he wouldn't have won the election. He wouldn't have had enough votes. Well, you know, see, I love this one week according to the law. But see, part of it, there's one voting day. Although there are mail out ballots. Yeah, well, they allow right? a week for all of this to get done. And he basically let it go on for for two months, and then didn't accept. Just, uh, he, they didn't accept enough write-in votes to swing the Senate to the Republican side. They, they didn't allow, uh, military vote was not allowed in virtually every state in the United States in the last election. Why? Because it was a mail-in ballot? Because there were mail-in ballots. They didn't, they didn't allow them because they said they weren't in on time. Well, the, the Democrats didn't, the Democrats, everywhere the Democrats controlled po uh, the ballot system, they were not sent out until it was too late to get them back in. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking on the mail-in ballot, is it by postmark date or it's arrival date at the, you know, because there's, there's different the dates. It's the postmark date. Mm -hmm. It's the postmark date. But, but they only allow so They many didn't days. even get them out until the postmark date, even though the court ordered them to do it. And the court ordered those votes to be counted. Of course they didn't The Democrats count. didn't allow them to be counted. Uh, anybody, you know. Uh, another another way is basically don't count on your base. Yes, even if there's nobody else running against you. Uh, anybody remember how John McCain lost the election? The base did not come out and vote because they did not like Mr. McCain. How about there was no other liberal more liberal than George McGovern or Michael Dukakis? They did not come out to sort either one of them. Or what about Jimmy Carter? You know, he, you know, basically, he, you know, according to Obama's standard, Jimmy Carter was the second greatest president in our nation's history. Well, and the same thing goes that if you're from a Republican district, don't count on Republicans to reelect you. Yeah. Same thing with the uh, Democrats. If you're from a Democratic district and you're a Democrat, don't count on winning it because you're a Democrat. Yeah, the Republicans are all playing nice to the Democrats because they don't want to offend the Democrats in their district. They're not going to vote for you. It is not going to be done. Uh, you know, the independents can go either direction, but independents have a tendency not like to have their taxes raised, which is another way not to get elected. If, oh. if you tell people, I'm not going to raise your taxes, then you raise their taxes, it makes them angry. Yeah, they don't want to reelect you. Yeah. Another way is um, don't count on changing parties to become reelected. That generally, for the most part, that generally gets you bounced out of the, of the party you join into. Sometimes it works, most of the time it doesn't. Because you'll have a history of supporting the other people mm -hmm. and they don't like that. Like the guy that swung the health care bill who basically changed over the Democratic Party didn't survive this, the election. Oh, he didn't? No. He, uh, he was replaced by a Republican. It was a Republican district. He jumped over to the Democrats to help push the health care thing because they promised him, you know, forever being elected. Well, he, they didn't oh. support him. They, he, he didn't even make the primaries, folks. Does that have anything to do, like, um, you know, down, don't count on supporting your district if you didn't support your district in yeah. voting? But it, it's all got to go like this, too. Uh, they... During the Napoleonic Wars at Waterloo, the Prussian cavalry turned against uh, Napoleon and sided with Duke de Wellington. Um, in return, because the Duke of Wellington didn't, didn't trust the Russian cavalry because they turned against their, 
their uh, ruler, he had them all killed. Mm -hmm. And that you know you can't trust a guy that changes sides. I mean, they you know like uh, double agent. No, can't trust them because they're just as likely to screw you again. So, but uh, another great one is that um, uh, you know this is a really good one. Don't keep giving talking points to your people that blame some guy that hasn't even been in office for three years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you can't continue. Yeah, but see, what's worse is giving it, I think it's worse that they follow them blindly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But it just did. I, although I guess you stick with the party line, but well, you know, sometimes it gets to like being a point of ridiculous. Okay. Uh, who dug the well that is too deep for us to get out of in the last three years? Mm -hmm. George Bush and Republicans. Why did Obama have to spend so much money to get us out of the problem that George Bush and Republicans caused? Because of George Bush and Republicans. Uh, well, the latest one today, we can't allow George Bush and the Republicans to dictate how things are being done in Greece. Um, sometimes do things sound a little bit ridiculous? Yeah, uh, we didn't go to war for oil, and then you find out the guy actually is at war for oil. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, another one. Okay, uh, if you here's a good one. If you need people's donations from Israel, what don't you do with an ambassador? Oh yeah, and appoint an ambassador that is totally contrary to their interests. Yeah, anti-Semitic, pro-Muslim, and, uh, and handing over Jerusalem to the Muslims and making the Israelis the minor part of the yeah. countryside. But you know, I always wonder, it's like, what, what's worse? I mean, see, part of it is the devil you know or the devil you don't know, right? Remember that? Yeah. But part of it is, if you know somebody's like that, you're just as bad if you're voting for him and I those know. are your interests. I know. There's I mean, yeah, and then uh, in that mm -hmm. a good one. What don't you do if you need the press support to get you reelected? Oh, uh, like ban the press? Yeah. And lie to the press on a daily basis. Uh, tell them. Yeah, that, but the, you know they kind of expect that from politicians. I know, but they don't like to be called into people's offices and told that Republicans were responsible for this, and then find out that. They're sleaze. They, they, you know, they're basically, uh, you know, oh, another one. Don't condemn in the press somebody for being a sexual pervert. You know, it's called the don't throw rocks if you're in a glass house press conference. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sa same thing goes on with, like, egging on the press. Yeah. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, and Jerry, Jerry, Jerry yeah. Um, ooh, I was and, thinking of. Investigate me if you think. Yeah. Yeah, so if you tell the press, I guess what happens? I happy. I mean, you know, it, understand too that if the working press does not like you and only the editors like you, don't piss off the working press. Yeah. That doesn't work. Uh, don't tell people that these people are not news agencies. Don't send your supporters out to condemn people, you know, uh, uh, you know, that that basically the people think are more fair than your people are, so. Oh, I guess another one is, uh, don't tell the people that they're not intelligent enough to know right from wrong when it comes to voting. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, I mean, there's, there, there's so many things, okay, we're talking, the Republicans, this is for Republicans and Democrats too, because Republicans do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Now, don't moralize in front of the, in front of the people. People don't like to have people moralizing to them. Even the people on the religious right mm -hmm. don't like to be moralized. So. I know. I'm sitting there thinking, it, it goes on and on and on. Oh, it just it doesn't because stop. Whether it's broken campaign promises, not representing your district. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. Not representing your district. Virtually, okay. we got to remember who you're elected to support. You're not, if you're elected as a representative from Los Angeles, you don't want to support the interests of Tucan Carey, New Mexico. No. You want to support Los Angeles. If you're a senator from Idaho, oh. you don't vote to support gay rights in, in California. Um, similarly, if, um, 
you represent a, a district, stick up for your district. Yeah. Uh -uh. Like some congressmen who, let's just say, some high-ranking congressional people. Um, okay, so we, so we just say Vegas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been che chewed on, spit out, and um, come on, if you're not going to support your district, why do they want to reelect you? Yeah. And if you're elected on the cut government spending side, don't vote to increase spending every time a vote comes up, because you're likely not to get the support from those people the next time, which is funny, you know. I, you, know you know, I mean, a lot of these things sound like common sense. Uh, they're politicians. You know, when it comes, like Mark Twain, when it comes to a politician, you know, uh, sometimes I think chimpanzees are brighter. Well, you know, I think part of it is they're, they're kind of, their chains getting yanked by contrary interests. Yeah, I'm like, uh, uh, our Will Rogers used to, he'd chew on his little piece of straw and he'd say something intelligent like, you know, I went to the zoo yesterday, I thought I saw my representative, and then I discovered Noah's a monkey was too smart to be my representative. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but what's a politician to do? Oh, maybe vote, go with what the his district wants. That would be neat, wouldn't it? I mean... Uh, Stand up for your district. Yeah, and uh, don't, don't do everything by polling, because I hate to tell oh. the presidents and all the members of the House and Senate, people lie! Oh, you mean people lie during polls? Yeah. Oh, and, and here's the other thing is when we say don't trust those poll results, um, you may also want to look at how the poll was taken. <laughs> Generally, if it was a poll that supported with somebody, it was taken in a district or an, or an area where the support for the man exists. They don't take it in an area where there might be, uh, you know, where there's a chance that people might not like him. They don't go to that area. Yes, yeah, so you might be looking at who was polled, also who was the polling agency, and who paid for the poll. Yep, that all depends oh, yeah. on how the questions were asked. Because uh, if you, for instance, you don't like, uh, you don't like George Bush, you simply ask, uh, can you tell me how many children George Bush has ate lately? <laughs> or, uh, you know, how many, how many Latinos has George Bush personally saw executed in the last month? Mm -hmm. It basically, if you answer, you basically, if you answer none, you're still saying, well, he ate people or he executed people somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. You know, uh, how often do you think George Bush has beat his wife in the last year? Mm -hmm. you know, so, and then after you follow several questions, it's like, how likely are you to vote for George Bush? Yeah. Right? That's I mean, how come, it works. you know? Yeah. Because on. you've already primed the pump that the guy, he eats Latinos. He executes Latinos and he beats his wife. And if you're thinking this sounds ridiculous, that's well, how the question is done. I, I'll tell you. I mean, well, I was in college. I took uh, I took a course on polling and public relations, and basically we were given a job. We had uh, okay. We we're doing agricultural television out here because that's Los Angeles no longer an agricultural area. But the people doing ag TV wanted to keep their jobs, so our class was given. The, uh, given the assignment to go prove that the people out there wanted agricultural TV. So basically, we first asked people who watched, uh, we finally went to a book, you know, we, we basically called people up, do you watch agriculture TV? No. Do you watch agriculture TV? No. Do you watch? Yes. Then we put that name in a, in a fishbowl. And then after we basically found a whole, was it enough for a statistical thing, we, we drew out of the fishbowl which was 100% people watched agricultural TV and then went to the places and did surveys about does agricultural TV help you in your profession? My God, this, uh, you know, the school said, we didn't realize that agricultural TV was such a popular thing. Uh, you know, because they didn't do uh, ratings on agricultural TV because it was a, we're talking it's like public broadcasting except when the colleges did it. And they kept it on the air and it was a phony survey. They, they paid the, you know, they, the professor was paid to, in his communications class, to make certain that the, well, he was also, unfortunately, he was the producer and director of the agricultural TV show. Oh, and well. And he happened to be, uh, wanted to keep that job also. Mm -hmm. But that's how it's done. You pay people to get the answers you want, and they'll twist the questions to get it, they'll go, anybody think that Bill Clinton was as popular as he was? No. He, they went to areas 
that supported Bill Clinton to get, and, and he still was only getting 60% in an area where people loved him. Mm -hmm. So Barack Obama. Obama, when Obama's writing high in the polls, it's because they go to areas where the people, black Americans don't even like this guy anymore. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, he's the only person we have. No. They, they, they basically, Hillary Clinton is back in the mix. Mm -hmm. So, uh, another one. Uh, and don't believe what the press tells you. Oh, that's that's like don't believe what the White House tells you either, yeah. or don't believe what X X X whoever tells you, yeah. right? Because it's not gospel. I know it's just sort of ridiculousness, isn't it? You'd think that grown people, men and women, would know better than to believe. I mean, like Mark Twain says, you only believe this, you only believe that, you only that. And so, uh, oh, here's part of it. Um, don't believe that commentary is the same as news. Wow. <laughs>